Hey guys, today we're going to be replacing some old smoke and carbon monoxide detectors with new interconnected ones from Nest. I'll add them to the Nest app on my phone, give them a quick test, and then install them around my house. We'll also have a look at some of the app features, and I'll show you how it all works. There's smoke in the master bedroom. So why is interconnected so important? Not only is it building code in most areas, it's the main reason why I purchased these four nest alarms. When one detector senses an alert, it will notify the other detectors in other areas of the house and it'll give you a notification on your phone. For example, when smoke is detected in the master bedroom, emergency. That device will sound and tell you there's smoke. There's smoke. The other alarms will also sound and tell you where in the house the issue is. There's smoke in the master bedroom. Your mobile device will also let you know. In addition to being Wi-Fi connected to your home network and internet, they also create their own internal network just in case they lose connectivity with the Wi-Fi or internet. This allows them to work and communicate with each other at all times. Traditional smoke alarms, they look for larger smoke particles from slower burning fires using an 880 nanometer infrared wavelength. In addition to the 880 nanometer infrared wavelength, this one carries the 450 nanometer wavelength detection commonly found with faster burning fires. I'll add a link in the description below where you can learn more about their split spectrum sensor unique to this second generation product. I'll also add a link where you can check these out on Amazon. They're selling for about $120 US and if you want to save some money, you can buy them in a bundle of three. Let's check out and see what's inside the box, starting off with the battery model first. First off, we have the user manual. Give it a read. It's really well written and it talks about the install location, like where to wall mount the device or where to install it on a sloped ceiling. It also tells you the purpose of every light color. For example, a pulsing yellow light means the batteries are low or the device is about to expire. Oh yeah, so these products are going to expire in about 10 years. Next we have the mounting plate, some screws for installing it onto your mounting surface, and next we have the device itself. It has a very nice feel and weight, definitely a high quality product. There is a little tab which needs to be pulled to allow the six included batteries to make contact on the inside to turn the device on. Next we'll jump over to the wire device. We have first of all a user manual, a mounting plate, some screws, a 120 volt connector, three wire nuts, and next we have the device itself. So you're going to notice that the wired version also has a battery tab because there are three included batteries for backup. Next I'm going to place labels on each of the detectors to ensure I am setting up the correct detector in the app. So I've already gone through the process of downloading the Nest app and setting up a free account. Nest does make it fairly simple to add each device to your account. Simply scan the QR code on the back and give the detector a name. Pull the battery connectors tab to wake up the device and then connect it to your Wi-Fi. That's it, you're done. When adding the remaining devices, you're going to need to select a device that's already configured so that Nest can interconnect each device. Again, Nest does a great job of walking you through the setup process. So now that the detectors are added to my app, let's run through a quick test before doing the physical install. Now this can be done through the app or by pressing on the button twice on any of the devices. When we run through these tests, several things are tested here, such as the smoke and carbon monoxide sensors, the Wi-Fi, the speaker, the horn, the light ring, and the interconnectivity. This is gonna be loud here, so you might wanna decrease your volume. Testing smoke. That is loud. Testing carbon monoxide. Just a moment. Testing, Testing smoke. smoke. Testing carbon monoxide. So if I jump back into the app here on the main page, I have a status of yellow. When I click on the yellow, it tells me that the power is out in two rooms. That's the two rooms where the wired devices are going to be hardwired in, and it thinks that my electricity is out because they're not actually installed yet, they're running on battery power. So let's start the physical install by shutting off the breaker to any of the current detectors I may have. Pop the old one off and remove its mounting bracket. 
I like to check here to make sure there's no power running to these lines before proceeding. It's all good, so let's disconnect the old device. If you have a red or a yellow wire, that was used for the interconnectivity. You don't need that anymore because these devices have their own internal network. Using the included 120 volt connector, I attach the white one to the white wire and black to the black. Install the mounting bracket. I am reusing the screws from the original electrical junction box. Plug in the Nest device using the little outlet on the back of the device. And that's it, it's done. I'm going to do the exact same thing here with another wired model. So installing the battery operated devices is quite simple. Choose your install location according to the manual's recommendation. As you can see, I'm using my own drywall anchors here, but it's not a requirement. Install the mounting plate and twist the detector onto the mount. Ready in the master bedroom. Press to test. And we'll do the exact same process again in another room. Ready in the bedroom. Press to test. So let's jump back into the app and check out some of the features. On the protect screen in the upper right, there's a gear icon. And underneath that, there's an option for silencing alarms. You can silence the alarm using the button on the device, but this option here allows you to silence it using the app. If there is a lot of smoke detected, you will not be able to use this feature. If you click on one of the devices below, you have some pretty cool options. First of all, pathway. This will turn on the white light whenever it senses you walking by and it's dark out. It's great in the hallway but not recommend it for a bedroom because it will turn on while you sleep. Next we have one called Nightly Promise. This will cause the detector to glow green for a moment when you turn out the lights at night just so you know that all the devices are working fine. And below that we have Steam Check. This will ignore steam and not send you a false alarm. Great if you have your detector installed near a shower. And lastly, we have Heads Up. This will give you a pre-alert that smoke has been detected before deafening you with alarms. Heads up, there's smoke in the master bedroom. The alarm may sound. The alarm is loud. And now, the other detectors give a heads up. Heads up, there's smoke. In the master Heads up. bedroom, there's the smoke. Alarm may sound. In the master bedroom, the alarm, the alarm may sound. The alarm is loud. All right, guys, there you have it. I've upgraded my smoke and carbon monoxide detectors with brand new ones from Nest. I'm very happy with how easy they were to set up and install. I love the heads up warning so my cats don't freak out every time an alarm goes off because I burnt toast. The test feature is super easy to use and the voice notification doesn't leave you guessing which device is alarming. Oh yeah, and having all the alerts on my phone keeps me informed while I'm away from home. For me, it was definitely worth the upgrade and I highly recommend these for your own safety. And again, all the links are in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.